Right, so now part two for the collapsing, and at the end of this video, you will have the base, which will be ready to shape. So, make sure the colour side um, is down, and the white side is up. So this is the white side that doesn't have the pen marks on it, and the colour side, which does. So hold it like this, so the square is at the top, and then just make a valley fold. Make the valley fold, it's easier to show on this side, from here to here, but on the white side. My paper isn't perfectly square on this part, it's need to line up a bit better. So like that. And then fold the model in half, right down the diagonal. So just valley fold on this side, keep this part to the left to make it easier, fold over, make sure the valley fold is strong and then just spread it out. Easiest way to line it up is turn it around, make these mountain folds on top and then line up the centre crease with the diagonal and then just gently make these creases not strong, just gently to hold it in place so you have this now turn it around And then we're going to open sync on these two creases. So make all this the mountain fold and then this one the valley fold. So the mountain comes up and then down this one and the same with the valley fold. So open up and then make the mountain fold first. Like so, and then the valley fold on the next one. And then just squash it. Again, always take your time, make sure you're actually using the lines and they're not off. So you'll have this. Now just repeat that process on this side. So now we have this. Now, for the next step, turn it around and we're going to make a mountain fold. I'm going to swivel this side inwards. So, this crease here, make the mountain fold all the way down. So, make it, it's, we've already got it here, so then just make it gently continuing all the way down and then this one will be the valley fold so make that all the way down and then from here downwards just gently so make the mountain fold first I've already got it here strong and then from here just gently and then Valley fold, and by doing this, we bring the paper down 
and use an extra crease here. Obviously, don't make the don't, don't make this actual crease, so just be gentle, and then fold it over. So we then have this. See, this crease isn't using, no, it isn't part of the actual crease pattern, so we don't actually make it strong. So we'll do the exact same on this side. So again, open up the mountain fold all the way down. Gently, just make it soft there. And then the valley fold. And by doing that, the paper gets pulled up. Pull the excess paper out and then fold it over. So we have this. And again, take your time, make sure that all these creases are being used correctly. So now, turn it around and spread sink this corner. So fold it over and then just flatten it out. And make sure this diagonal lines up with this centre crease. So you may need to pull extra paper over one side just to get it to line up. Again, take your time when you do this, make sure it's nice and neat, like so, and then we're going to make a mountain fold on this crease and a valley fold on this one and just sink it inside. So open up the mountain fold first, this comes, hits here and then straight down. And then the same with the ballet foot. So we have this. Now untuck this flap, so grab this part and then just pull out. And then make the mountain fold on this crease and then this crease to get it to lie flat. And if this happens, see it's sinking in, just get a wee tool, put it inside and then just push that part to get it to come out. And then fold all the layers, fold this layer over, then this one. And then we're going to repeat the process on this side. So again, open sink, open squash this part. Then make the mountain and valley folds. Like so. And then unsink this part.
Now we've got this, fold it over. Now open sync on these two creases, so the mountain fold and then the valley fold. Just like that. And then the same again, spread sink this corner. So fold it over. Put it on the table because it's easier to do this one when it's flat. Then just take your time, make sure it's nice and neatly. Just like that. And then divide this part into four on the bisector. So take this edge and fold it onto this edge. Unfold it. And then take this edge onto the crease we just made. Fold it over. And then take the first crease we made and fold it to the centre. It's the easiest way to divide it into four doing this type of fold. And fold it back to the left. So I've got this. One, two, three, four. Open sync at this part, so the mountain fold, first line then the valley, then the mountain. Let's so open up. Mountain fold first. Then the valley fold. And then the mountain fold. So we have this. Now on this part. We're going to make the mountain fold on this crease and the valley fold halfway through these layers to get this part to lie flat. So we'll make the valley fold on this line, just gently, fold it over, make the mountain fold. And then fold it back down. And there we go, we're now, we're now using all the creases on this side. So the exact same here. Open it up. Mountain fold down the centre. And then this one here. Fold back down. Now untuck this part again. Pull out and then mountain, mountain. So it's 
not going neatly, so I'm going to use my weed tool to try and help me out. There we go. That's good enough. So now, fold this edge to the centre and divide this part in half. Like so. Flip that around. Do the same thing here. Unfold it. And then we'll go back to this one. And we open sync on the line we just made. So open up. And then just sink in. It's a straightforward sink. And then just close it up. And then flatten it. So you have that. And repeat it. Do the same thing here. So open up, make the mountain fold, so you have this. So we're going to do the exact same thing, so fold this layer over, divide this part in half and then open sync it. So I'll do the first one and then you can do the second one. It's probably easier to open sync it by folding it over and then lifting this part up. Make this valley fold to mountain fold. So when we fold it back over, we have this. And then just repeat the process on this one. So exact same again, open sync. Now we have this. We've got two open sinks on the left and two on the right. So now we're going to open sync this flap, which we've already got all the creases. So hold it like this. Open up this part, and then the outside is the mountain fold, then the valley, then the mountain. And then just take your time and try and get it all nicely collapsed. Mm. 
like so. And then just close it all together. And we have this. Now, same thing on this side. Fold all the layers over. Open up. Mountain fold on the first crease, then the valley, then the mountain. I need it on the table just to make it easier. And then when you've got it in place, just collapse it or just flatten it neatly. And then we've got this. Now, fold the layers back over and spread sink these two corners. So do the inside one first, it's the easiest. And it doesn't need to be neat, so don't worry too much. We'll do it flat down a bit. Try it like this first. So just spread the layers, make sure you're keeping them together. We need to do the first one, the inside one first, because this one overlaps this one. So I won't lie fully flat if you do the top one first, and then the top one. And we've got this. Now fold up the front two legs and we're basically going to use uh, these creases here, these two big ones. So make a valley fold here, we've already got it. And then extend mountain fold down, which we already have. This will be the valley fold, so we need to extend this up. Oh, pardon me. So we have this. So we're basically just using these inside creases. And then make the mountain fold along this to make it lie flat. And here as well. And here, then just make sure you're using all the creases correctly, and then it will lie flat. And you fold that back down. So then we have this. Now just repeat the process on this side. So again, valley fold up. Extend the mountain fold down, then the mountain fold up here. Make the mountain fold on the top and the sides. And then just squash it flat and fold back down. So then you have this.
now fold the two bottom legs up and we're going to spread sink this corner and this corner. So we'll do the bottom one first. So it's probably easiest to just fold edge to edge. Unfold it. Fold over. And then I'll do it on the table to make it easier. So again, just push down up to get it started. And then you can even open it and then make the mountain fold on the crease we just made. So don't worry too much if it isn't neat at the top, you can fix it later on when you shoot. So that's the first one. Turn it around and spread sink this corner. So again, open it, make sure it's lying flat. Push. And then take your time. To try and get it all lined up. Like so. Now divide this part in half, so edge to edge. Fold it back and then close sink on the crease we just made. So it's easiest to fold it back over to where it first was. Oh, it's not lined flat here. That's better. Then open up the top layer. And then just close sink. So we're doing the bottom first. So close sink on the creases we just made. And then go to the other end, do the exact same. And then just connect both ends. So make the mountain fold. And then this mountain fold. And then close it up. And there you go. You should have this. And that's the top. And then the bottom. Now we want to open sink in and out on this part. So just open up straight forward, first crease the mountain fold. And then the valley fold. Just take your 
time and make sure the creases are being used. So that's pushing up slightly too much, that's better. And then just close it. So you have this. And now repeat everything we've just done on the right hand side to the left hand side. So spread sink. Not spread sink, this part. Corner, corner. Fold it in half. Close sink it in. Fold it back over and then open sink in and out. Now we've got this. So now fold over all these layers and then fold this part in half so it won't be that neat at the top simply because we've got these layers as well so don't worry about that. Just do the inside layer first. And then roughly fold over this part. Fold it back and do the exact same on this one. So again, all these layers over. Fold this part in half. Roughly fold this top part over and then the bottom bit. Unfold it and then fold it all back over. Mountain fold naturally on this point here. So these layers will naturally come down like so. Turn it around and make a valley fold. So this is where you'll find out if you've been precise enough. So basically here, make a valley fold straight across. So I've got two edges. Oops, one focus. There we go. One here, one here. So at the bottom one, make the valley fold to edge to edge. So from here to here. I don't worry if it's not fully precise, it doesn't matter too much. So even mine doesn't mind us off by a wee bit. Could even try and adjust it. No, that's the best I'm going to get the now. So, like that. So now what we want to do is open up, make this valley fold a mountain fold and then pull the inside, basically make a mountain fold straight across and again don't worry too much if it's not neat, it doesn't need to be perfect. like that, pull it and then flatten it down and I, really, I realise I did this part wrong in the red one so it doesn't really matter so we should have this You can see it's not as neat on the left side, but it still gives the same result. Now turn it around and squash fold all these layers. So 
fold over. So this is the part where we divided in half. So it's all the layers above that one. So let's fold it all over and then just try your best to spread sink it. And then probably easiest because we're here to close sink this part on the on this mountain fold. So we're going to close sink. That is to be an open, but it's probably easier to do a closed. Like so, and don't worry too much if it's not perfectly neat here, you won't see that anyway. Fold it back over and repeat it on this side. So again, all these layers fold over and then squash all. And then close sink on this layer. So we have this. And then just fold everything back over. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is just fold this edge to the center line. We're going to start thinning down the tail. And then the same on this side, I'll just unfold it to make it easier. And don't worry too much if it's not perfectly neat. So we've done that, now fold the layer over, basically the same thing on this one will do as well. So I'll just take this edge, fold it to the centre, and it goes near enough. So let me see. So it should the crease should stop just above the top arm, so around about here. So this is where the crease is stopped, near enough. So here's the top arm, oops, top arm, and then round about here. So we're going to do the exact same again, but we're going to open this up, fold these layers inside and then fold over, like so. And then just repeat it on the side. So fold it over, then take edge to edge. And then try your best to try and get it symmetrical. So these should end at about the same height, not one up here and one here. So this could come in a wee bit more.
Yeah, it works about fine. So we're good to go there. Open up, fold this back over. And there we go. Now for the top arm, you're going to fold the bisector. Of course, these kisses aren't perfectly lined up, but it'll still work. Take edge to edge, fold it over. You only need to do this once, this is just to give you the guidelines for the rest of them. Then fold it to the centre. So when we fold it back over, we have this crease and then this crease. So we open sink on the first one. And then we reverse fold it on the first crease we made so it lines up with that edge. And then we reverse fold this last part to line up like so. But yours should be much, much neater than mine because my layers don't line up the best. And then for the next one, just pull it in until the paper lines up. Close it. And then it's just the same process as this one. Open it, pull the excess layer through, close it. And then once more. Just like so. And then you're going to repeat the process on the final two. So do that. So once you've done it for the last two, this last part, just fold it over. Basically edge to edge. up and you can either do an open sink or close sink so I'm going to do a close sink because it's easier this way and then that's that you have done the first leg Now repeat the process we've done here on this one, not on the bottom two, they're slightly different. So repeat everything we've done on the right hand side, on the left, just this one here. Right now, the bottom leg, open up and then fold this edge to this edge and just make the pinch mark on the outside crease. So like that and then just the outside. Unfold it. Now make a line. Just take this. From this pinch mark, six units across. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the sixth one, that will be down at the bottom. So from that pinch mark, across six, down to the bottom. Here, one, two, three, four, five, no, yeah. two, four, six, 
so like that. Two, four, six. And it starts at the pinch mark, end at the bottom of number six. And then close it back up. And you'll have this. Now it's basically the same process as this. So fold edge to edge. And you don't need to worry if it's not really precise. And then this edge to this to that side. It's probably easier if you just open up. No fact. So just pull it and drag it until it lines up. Of course this top crease is over too much. And then again mountain fold, valley, mountain, just as we've done here. Mountain fold. The valley. And then the mountain. Of course, yours will be much better than mine's. You won't have this extra bit of paper. You'll have it nice and flat. Nice and pointy. Like that one. Of course, it's because my paper is not fully lined up. It's given me that. And then you do the exact same for the rest of them. And once you do it on all of them, you have this. So it's the exact same as the red one. This side. Of course, it should look like this. So it's pointy. And then just repeat the process on the left hand side. And then you should have this. So the exact same on this side. Oh, this is the wrong one. It's this one. What the fail? Right, so we should have the exact same. Now, make. Where's my tool? Now, make a mountain fold. We're going to crimp the legs up. So, a mountain fold underneath this layer here. So, just open up. Make that mountain fold. Doesn't need to be perfect. And then just crimp it up slightly. So the leg then sticks out like that. So exact same on this side, open it up just to make this mountain fold. And then Squash together and crimp up. So we have that. Maybe a bit more. And then the same thing here. So where the legs, if you fold the leg up, you make the valley fold. So we we'll make this the mountain fold instead. This is where the crimp will be. So the exact same, just open up slightly, make the mountain fold, which we've got, close it back up, and then this hands in the way. And then just crimp up. So basically you've got that. And then just repeat it on this side. So I've already got the valley fold. I'll just open up a few layers. Let's just do the first one. Make the mountain fold. 
then grab all the layers. Crimp up. It's not going as easily. So you should have this. Now for the head, fold up this corner just a slight amount, well, probably about halfway or even less. Yeah, just under halfway. So about that much. And then just make the crease and then do the same on this side. Again, take your time to make sure that they're even. this, so this, unfold it, and then just reverse fold this part inside, so again doesn't need to be completely perfect, so open up, and then just, again it's not going to lie completely perfect, so open up, and then just push it in, like so, so you have that, and then repeat it on this side. So then we've got that. And then fold this layer. So this layer right here. Behind. At an angle. So we're going to make basically a mountain fold and this angle sort that and then the same on this side So just like that. And then fold this top layer over slightly. Just about that. And the same on this side. And finally for the last part on the collapsing, so you've got this layer, so just valley fold this inside just to hide it. And then just the same on this side. Keep dropping the paper. That is it, that is the base collapsed, which we are then ready to shape, but I still don't have any glue, so I can't shape them yet. The glue is ordered, but it comes between the 3rd of August and the 23rd, so hopefully it comes soon. And that's it, thanks for watching, hope you managed to collapse this, no problem. It's not that difficult, it's pretty straightforward, and it's a lot of fun, especially to shape. So. Make sure to check for part 3 and when we shape this lizard.